Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So in today's video, we are going to be talking you should never do this for your succulent. Now what exactly are we are talking about? Now we are talking about that pre-mixed fertilizer. As we have already spoken about this a number of times that fertilizers or adding nutrients to your succulents is not the most important thing or it's not the first priority. The first priority is the light requirements, uh, the soil mixture, uh, what kind of environment you have. These are all the main priorities. Fertilizers is something it's very very uh, at the back, at the last. I would say even if you do not add fertilizers it's absolutely fine because all of the succulents that you're seeing over here uh, none of them get any kind of additional fertilizers or nutrients probably whatever is there in the soil is what they are consuming over here if you remember my graptoveria titubans i had done the reporting right in front of you i haven't added anything to it and you can see it has been doing quite well a lot of symmetrical leaves because it gets a good amount of light morning direct sunlight for five to six hours i have my sedum golden glow i have my sedum terilaceae i have my uh, etuaria roman i have my agoides which is starting to put up a little bit of color so none of these succulents have any additional fertilizers or none of my collection i add any kind of fertilizers to them and they have been doing quite well now i'm not very sure about what other people tend to do probably it works out for them well it doesn't work out for them i'm not very sure because i do watch a lot of videos on youtube wherein they tend to put a lot of fertilizers but then i haven't seen any update videos on them whether how the succulents are doing i'm not very sure how they are doing but uh, this video is something based on what i have been doing over the years and how it has been working out for me i cannot speak on behalf of others what it tends to work out or not because this is completely this channel is completely based on my experience of uh, how things have been working out definitely if something has not worked out i will definitely not make a video on it as long as i'm very comfortable and i'm very confident about a particular thing that is going to work out for succulents and only then i tend to make a video on it so over here in this video we are going to be talking about uh, adding of fertilizer so from what I have seen is a lot of people tend to make their own soil mix. Now the issue over here what I have noticed is people tend to use fertilizers when they're making uh, their soil mix. They already tend to add a ton of fertilizers in it. Be it compost, uh, you know, be it uh, wormy compost or be it bone meal, you name it and people tend to add it while making the soil mix. Now always remember guys, whenever you are purchasing a succulent and you're repotting it, ensure that the level of nutrients is very, very less or the soil is lean nutrients nutrient because first of all we don't even know what kind of variety of succulent we have a lot of times uh, people tend to buy the succulent they rebought the succulent and then they tend to ask me can you tell me the id of the succulent now let's take for example uh, a person has purchased etuaria noble and he has reported his succulent in a pre-mix soil mix with fertilizers let's say that the person has made a soil mix with the watching my video probably he's made a soil mix of aquarium sand and garden soil but he has also added uh, probably um, wormy compost and compost and some other fertilizers as well to make a good mix now he does not know that this is called an etuaria after checking with me he gets to know that it's an etuaria now he has purchased the succulent during the winters now you can imagine an etuaria that tends to go dormant during the winters and there is so much of nutrients in the soil even though you have made the same soil mix that i have advised you but still the succulent is not going to do quite well the reason is because there is excess amount of nutrients in the soil and the succulent is dormant at that period of time apart from that whenever you buy a succulent whenever you repot a succulent always uh, ensure that you do not add fertilizers right away you always have to wait at least for a month or even for two months to be on the safer side only then add fertilizers if you want to as soon as you plant the succulent do not add fertilizers because the succulent is still trying to get adjusted to the new soil mix adding of fertilizers suddenly for a repotted newly potted succulent it can damage the succulent because the roots have not yet uh, adapted to the new soil mix the roots are just starting to settle in and you tend to add fertilizers it will definitely damage the succulent roots and overall the succulent will start having the side effects of excess nutrients in the soil whenever you report your succulent always ensure that you give at least a month or two months time and ensure that the succulent is in its growing period let's say etuaria again or let's say 
uh, sedum this time let's say that you purchased a sedum during the winters and now that you have planted your succulent into the soil sedums will be getting into their growing season during the winters so if you want to add fertilizers you have to wait at least a month or so to be on the safer side wait for two months and then add a diluted uh, version of your uh, fertilizer weaken the strength do not add a uh, concentrated otherwise it will burn the succulent even if it's like a very minimum amount you always have to dilute it in water ensure that the soil is moist before adding any fertilizer so this is something that you should never do because i've seen a lot of people they tend to uh, pre-mix their soil mix they make they tend to make the soil mix at home but also tend to add a lot of nutrients and a lot of times the succulent after a couple of days starts to have a negative effect on it rather than having a positive effect of adding fertilizer and for a lot of people who tend to buy a ready mix soil mix let's say for uh, example uh, miracle grow or uh, bonsai jack i'm not very sure about them because i don't purchase those soil mixes they are not available in my country but if you tend to purchase these succulent soil mixes they tend to have nutrients but they are not in a very high amount they have a very lean nutrient soil that's why it tends to work out really well so you do not need to be worried if you're buying a miracle grow you can just plant your succulent in that it won't have an excess amount of nutrients which is going to harm your succulent but especially when you're making a soil mix at home ensure that you do not add a lot of fertilizers you can do this later on you can go for a liquid based fertilizer and add the fertilizers as and when the succulent tends to go in its growing period but do not use fertilizers just in one go let's say like i have seen a lot of people they are in a very hurry they plant their succulent and within a week or so they tend to ask what are the fertilizers we can add for your succulent you need to understand succulents come from a place wherein there is not much nutrients in the soil Apart from that, a freshly planted succulent needs a little bit of time for it to get adjusted in the soil. And later on, you can add the liquid-based fertilizer or whatever um, fertilizer you have available. But ensure that it's always in a very, very less quantity. You need to uh, make it a very weak uh, fertilizer before using it for your succulents because succulents will not be able to handle too much or very strong fertilizer in their soil mix. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.